everyone, welcome back to my channel, Organized by Dorsey, where we take this simple and inexpensive and make it look elegant. I am so happy to be coming back to you today with part four of the 12 part series on my home organization challenge. Before we get started, however, I'd like to ask you to take a couple seconds and press that subscribe button below so you'll be notified when the new videos are uploaded. Let's get started. This is part four of the 12 part series and it has to do with cleaning of my refrigerator. Now the refrigerator in our home is a monogram side-by-side -side GE. And for purposes of this video, I'm going to be calling this the breakfast dinner refrigerator. Comparatively speaking, it's a small refrigerator. So what I'd like to do is to show you how I was able, how I'm able to organize and keep this clean and very put together 100% of the time. Now, as you know, heat rises to the top. And so the items that I have at the top of this refrigerator are items that could be kept at room temperature. For example, the bread that's kept in this container here, we could easily keep it outside. But because we don't use as much bread as um, we could, then it's easier if I keep it here, it lasts longer. Now, the second area of this refrigerator are where I keep the prep items. And you'll see like the strawberries are here that I've washed and cut and put in these square containers because that gives it more space. Um, and then the next area down, it has, um, for example, items that I keep on a lazy Susan. And so what I would suggest that you do in organize, if you have a small refrigerator as well, is to get a couple lazy Susans that you can keep, or turntables as they're called, that you can keep items in. And it gives you the flexibility of moving things around, seeing um, where things are, and makes it very easy as well to clean the refrigerator. So before I go shopping, of course, I would do a thorough cleaning of the refrigerator, which is so easy because all I have to do is take the trays out and clean with some soap and water, and that's about it. Now, this tray here has some more yogurts, but it also has items that I can use for breakfast or for lunch, and they're in these, this turntable here. The second drawer, which is in the middle here, has um, another turntable that I would keep like milk, for example, apple juice, and I have some vegetables prep here as well that I keep in this, in this section here. Now the eggs are kept a little bit lower and in this container, I have everything in containers. So this container has the eggs. This one has um, some organic um, cauliflower rice that I purchased at Costco. And um, we use that a lot at our house, organic cauliflower, um, much more I think than the average person. And then of course we have the section here that has the meat, um, luncheon meat that is. And then the fruits are kept in this drawer. And I just keep all the apples in a container. Even though it's the drawer that has all the apples, we, I still have it in a container as well. And at the very bottom is where some of the vegetable pep peppers and um, are kept. Now this, like I said, is the breakfast refrigerator. And so this has all the things that we would use for breakfast. Now on the side here, we have salad dressing, butter, some condiments. And one thing that I always keep in the refrigerator here is baking soda or powder. And I keep it in this container here. It has holes so that you can see um, it allows the air to um, be released and keeps the refrigerator smelling um, good, I would say. So this is the food section here, breakfast section. And as I go into the freezer section, 
It's everything is organized in containers. As you can see, we have um, patties. Then this one has the meat, and this one has um, Chinese steamed dumpling. This one has fish from Costco and um, blueberries. And of course, we have the walnuts in the refrigerator here. So this is section number two. So that is an overview of the refrigerator, the inside, ref the inside refrigerator. There is another refrigerator that I'd like to share with you and that has all the dinner leftovers and the salads and just about everything. So that's one I'd like to do a separate video on just to show you how I'm able to organize. But the main thing, takeaway from this is that the containers and of course the Lazy Susan and even for the milk and apple juice, instead of keeping them in large bottles, I just keep them in those containers that I get at um, Walmart and all I have to do of course is just transfer them over. So instead of having big containers in the refrigerator, they're kept in smaller containers as um, the need as necessary. So again, if you like this video and you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to receive those comments. I respond to every single comment. So please, please make some comments and I really look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Next week, we're going to be doing part five on um, refrigerator number two. And that one is a must for you to see. So thanks again and goodbye.